What would you choose to do if you could lead any project for your workplace, for your club, or for your community? For me, I chose to do presenting the community. Here are 38 people who I'm so grateful to for participating in this project. These people went on camera for about two minutes with me to share some expertise, something they've learned as a Toastmaster, some funny story, some experience, some reason why they've been a Toastmaster for so long. I'll give you a few examples. Here's Casey. She was almost a brand new Toastmaster. She participated in this. We had our own Austin, who you know was a fairly new Toastmaster. And we had the whole spectrum, club officers, we had a past district director, we had our own current yeah. area directors, <laughs> <laughs> and the whole broad spectrum my best side. of people. And again, I'm so grateful to all these people for being a part of my team. The idea here was to share the experience and expertise of current Toastmasters throughout our entire district. That spans from South Florida all the way through the Bahamas. What they did, they go on video, and the idea is to spread the word. Get these people engaged, yes, that part's done. The next part is to spread all these videos throughout our communities, because there's people all around <coughs> us, again, from South Florida all the way to the Bahamas, that are not yet Toastmasters, but can also benefit from joining us in this experience. Here's the successes. Those 38 members represent at least 32 of the clubs in our district. There's about 160 total. That means one in every five clubs is already represented in this project. And because some of those people gave me such great material, we actually ended up with more than 50 total videos from the 38 people. What that means is we have quite a lot of content to share. For instance, if we share one a week, we've got an entire year-long celebration of Toastmasters marketing material that we can share. Now, what did I learn about leadership from this experience? Well, Bruce has already touched on the subject of just saying yes. But for me, it was the opposite side of you have to ask first before someone can say yes. A lot of people don't think to ask or are afraid to ask for help. But if you're going to lead something that you need other people to help you complete and you can't complete all by yourself, you have to be willing to ask people. The way it worked for me was I went four Saturday mornings in a row when we were having the TLIs, the training sessions, last summer. And I went there and I didn't attend all the sessions. I was hanging out, out in the lobby with my camera waiting for sessions to switch or for people shuffling in and out. And I'd have to grab them and say, how would you like to present or be part of this presenting the community project? And I'd have to describe what it's about and ask if they had something that they'd like to share. Well, out of those 38 people said yes. I think I only had maybe five who said no. Okay? So that shows you that if you ask, people are usually going to help you I'm going to say yes. So that's the big leadership thing that I've learned here. The other thing, if you're the photographer or the videographer or the director and you're behind the camera, you find that a lot of people in front of the camera are self-conscious about their looks or their performance. So constantly I got used to going, oh, you look great, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so every time, you know, someone would finish and they go, oh, is that okay? And then I'd be picking up the camera and I'd go, you did excellent, because they always did. But people sometimes are a little self-conscious about how it is once it's all over. So that's another thing I learned. You've got to encourage people in this situation. There were a couple challenges that came across. One gentleman who said he would kill me if I put this video footage in his video, so I didn't. But I can tell you the story. We were in a big hotel lobby, there wasn't much around us, just a big empty scenic place. 
he was ready to give his video, but he had gum in his mouth. <laughs> and so we didn't have any trash or anywhere to throw it. So uh, eventually I was just like, okay, just stick it to your belt. And he said, okay. He stuck the gum to his belt. He did his whole show. And afterward I said, don't forget your gum. He said, okay. <laughs> That's the way it works. <laughs> so you got to think on your feet, you got to stay flexible, as Bruce said. Plans change, things happen. Speaking of Bruce, <laughs> he gave a wonderful humor and body language presentation, and he was doing all these faces and gestures. This is a genuine gesture, though, because afterwards, as he was doing all these movements, he caught the microphone cord. <laughs> and this is the instant where the tripod and the camera was tipping over. This is a real face of terror. We should have had it focus. And luckily we caught it. Yeah. We caught it, so it didn't destroy the camera. But this is what it looks like when someone thinks that they've just destroyed your camera. <laughs> and, second, and lastly, a, a new development came this week, which I'm just... Because we're running out of time, and this is a new thing, I'm just going to have to describe this later. But it's a good story. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what you can expect. I put up a blog this morning, talking a little bit about this journey. I made a five-minute video to introduce the project, kind of like this. It's starting next week with the first video. I'm going to release it on our blog every single week. And we've got planned out for an entire year, weekly. What I need your help with is sharing this stuff around through your networks. You'll get it on the blog, I'll post it on the WhatsApp. You'll see posts on District, like Facebook and other social media. So we're going to spread it out there, but then if you see a video you like, go ahead and spread it through your networks as well. And say, by the way, visit Club Awesome, something like that. We want to get these out there so everybody can see them. And secondly, if you want to make a video, or if you do make a video of yourself, let me know, I'll help you share it out there as well. Let's present the community, let's share, let's bring new people into our club. So it's nice.